Welcome to the Tearset tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to import data in various formats into Tearset. You will also learn about some important modules that can be used to pre-process data in preparation for use within a project. The first step of any GIS project is getting your data into a format that can be used by your software. Tearset uses a specific file format, called the Idrisi file format, for files used within the Tearset software. Any files you wish to use in Tearset must be converted to this format. Fortunately, Tearset offers an extensive set of import and export routines, making import of files fast and simple. The TIFF file format is very common. To import TIFF files, use the GeoTIFF module. You can find this module by going to File, Import, Government slash Data Provider Formats, GeoTIFF slash TIFF. But you can also search for any Tearset module by typing its name into the search bar and hitting the Enter key on your keyboard. To import a TIFF file, make sure the GeoTIFF slash TIFF to Idrisi radio button is selected, then browse for your TIFF file by clicking the ellipses. Choose an output name and click OK. The converted file will appear in your working folder and will automatically display once the conversion is complete. Tearset also offers conversion utilities for NetCDF, HDF, NV, ARC shapefile, and ARC raster formats, among others. Most import modules are fairly similar to the GeoTIFF module. If you need help using any particular module, you can always click the Help button on the Module dialog box to access the Help System files for that module. In addition to these specific file conversion utilities, Tearset has several modules that can be used to import many different types of files. Generic Raster can import most types of raster data in BIL, BIP, or BSQ formats and the Tearset interface to the GDAL conversion utility can be used to convert nearly any raster image. As with the other import modules, you select an input dataset and an output name. Be sure to include the file extension for your output file when using GDAL. Use the drop-down list to select the output file format and fill in any other necessary fields before clicking Run to start the conversion process. Images imported using GDAL will not display automatically. The progress report will read done and the elapsed time will be shown when the conversion is complete. There are a couple additional tips and tricks for importing files into Tearset. First, you may need to change or update some fields in the file metadata. You can recalculate resolution and image values edit the reference system and file title, and make other changes to the file metadata from the metadata pane of the Tearset Explorer. Second, your image may not look exactly as you want it to when you import it. You may need to adjust the display parameters to have a good looking image. For information on how to adjust display parameters, watch the image display tutorial videos. Once your data is imported into Tearset, it may need further processing before it can be used in your project. Generally, all data within a project need to have the same reference system, extent, and resolution, and other alterations may need to be made to clean up your data before use. If you need to change the reference system of your data, use the Project module. You can change the coordinate systems of both raster and vector images using Project. To demonstrate, I'll change the projection of this world climb mean temperature image from a sinusoidal to a latitude longitude projection. If you would like to work with a subset of your data, you can use the window module to trim your data to the desired extent. You can choose to window a single image or window multiple images at once by inserting a layer group and use row and column positions geographical positions, or an existing windowed image to set the extent of the window. To demonstrate, 
I'll window a Landsat image of the area around Boulder, Colorado using an existing windowed image. The resample module registers the data in one grid system to a different grid system covering the same area and can also be used to change image resolution. If you click the Output Reference Parameters button, you can change the number of rows and columns and thus the resolution of your output image. Here, I'll geo-register Tearset tutorial data of Paxton, Massachusetts. If you need to join multiple images together to cover your study area, use the Mosaic module. The Mosaic module is unique in that it allows you to match gray levels in your images to account for day-to-day -day changes in the atmosphere. This results in a more seamless combined image. To demonstrate, I'll join two Landsat tiles. You can change values within your images using the Reclass module. This may be helpful if you want to change your background or no data value, or if you want to create a categorical image from a continuous image. Here, I'll reclassify a continuous image of bobcat habitat suitability to an image with four categories of habitat suitability. You can also convert images between raster and vector data types by using the raster vector module. If you're converting from a vector to a raster file, this module requires the use of the initial module to create a blank file that can then be updated by raster vector. If you are converting from raster to vector format, you do not need to use the initial module. To demonstrate, I'll create a vector layer of roads in central Massachusetts from a raster layer of roads. For more information on data import and export, as well as the modules mentioned in this video, check out the Tearset Help System files. You can access the Help System by going to Help, Contents. You can also access the Help System files for any module by clicking the Help button on the Module dialog box. For a quick introduction to the Help System, go to Help, Using Help.